Rather alarmingly, this aeroplane is known to its friends as the Vomit Comet. And that's a clue to the way it flies. It doesn't just fly along in a straight line like a normal airliner. This is where astronauts come to learn what life is like without gravity. This is a proper astronaut training exercise. The way it works, it's quite complicated. The aeroplane flies a parabolic trajectory which leaves you effectively weightless when you're inside it. But the easy way to think of it is that it goes over an extremely long humpback bridge. I'd also like to boast that at no point in my life have I ever been sick on an aeroplane, or in a car, or on a boat, or on a fairground ride, or any of those things. But that might be about to change. This little pocket has a bag in it, you know, just in case. Space race, no one was actually sure if human beings could survive in zero gravity. Some specialists thought our internal organs would just fall apart and we'd drop down dead, or float away dead anyway. So the Americans sent the whole menagerie of animals into orbit see what it would do for them, and they all survived. That wasn't really the point. The point was... <laughs> the, point, the point was... Oh, God! The point was, would a man be able to do something useful in zero gravity? For example, operate a spaceship. So what they did was they sent a trained chimpanzee called Ham into orbit on the 31st of January, 1961, Ham had been trained to pull a series of levers in response to flashing lights. The red lever for the red light and the white lever for the blue light. If he did that right, he was rewarded with a banana-flavoured chip. If he got it wrong, he was electrocuted. Ham is laced in his couch and wired for sound. The electrodes on his feet will give him a gentle shock in case he forgets. It's a parlour. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, Hiya. How are you doing? Woo. Oh. <laughs> and this is where this child's game comes in, because it's a very, very similar thing. What happens is these lights go on in sequence. Da, da, da. I have to get the. Same sequence when I press these two little buttons. If I get it wrong, it gives me a shock. Ow! <laughs> Ham the chimp didn't have any problem with this. And he was doing it in zero G, which I'm going to try in a minute. Ah! <laughs> duh, duh. I've forgotten. <laughs> I hate this thing. Here we go. It was that one, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Well, uh, 